A town known for its painted past, Stony Plain provides a glimpse of early settler life in Alberta. With over 30 murals located around town, it's one way to view the town's history, which dates back to the early 1800s. Well, this Legacy Street is the uh, depiction of the 1930s streetscape, so it gives all the different businesses that would have been in the community in those years. Oh, I think in years to come, uh, our grandchildren and great-grandchildren um, need to know where they came from and what their forefathers did here in the community. The town of Stony Plain connects this history with a vibrant volunteer base. We have a tremendous amount of volunteers here. We have about 100 volunteers that uh, put in about $12,000 a year and uh, uh, they're wonderful, wonderful people. As our motto says, we serve the community's greatest needs. So it could be anything from helping the uh, youth to the aged to the uh, special needs folks. Uh, we partner in on projects. Projects like the Pioneer Museum, the brand new community center, or the many events put on like Farmer's Days. When you put something on in this area, the people come. The biggest thing is getting the word out. And the small town atmosphere of just over 15,000 helps that word get out, something that is not taken for granted. The fact that you can walk down the street and usually see at least one person, if not more, that you know. Today on Where You Live, I figure what better place than the town of Stony Plain and who better to speak about Stony Plain than the mayor himself, Mayor William Choi. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Pioneer Museum. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming out there. So there are lots of great things about Stony Plain. You know, what makes this town so unique? Uh, what makes it so great is the people. A lot of volunteers, a lot of community spirit. Whenever there's a problem, whenever there's a need, our people step up. And they step up at different events. I mean, there's lots of festivals going out throughout the town and the volunteers really step up. How do they step up for that? Uh, just basically volunteerism through our Lions Club, our Chamber, through uh, the Kinsmen, the Rotary Club, and even this place like this, the Stone Plain Pioneer Museum. A lot of volunteer hours go into making this what it is. And those Lions Clubs, the Kinsmen Clubs, they really help generate that family type of atmosphere, which is what, you know, a town like Stony Plain really thrives on, isn't it? Yes, and that's what we bank on, and that's our, our community spirit. Stony Plain is very, very unique with a township right next door in Spruce Grove. Is there a little bit of a rivalry between those two towns? Uh, you can't help it because it's so close. But one of the best things about living in Stony Plain is uh, we kind of promote the whole tri-region, which is Parkland County, the city of Spruce Grove and town of Stony Plain. Within a five minute radius, that uh, driving radius, you can choose where you want to live. You can actually choose to live in the town of Stony Plain with a small town atmosphere, the unique quaintness of it, or you can live a little bit larger life in the city of Spruce Grove, or even quieter in Parkland County where you can have acreages and a little more uh, land to uh, enjoy the wildlife. I was a little disappointed coming into town earlier today just because when you drive through Spruce Grove you expect to see lots of stones before you hit Stony Plain. I, I thought that was going to be part of the name but it's not is it? Nope it's not part of the name. I was surprised I you actually got through Spruce Grove. All the red lights you would have uh, at least took you half an hour extra. So there is that rivalry there. I, I feel the tension a little bit. Well, it's not rivalry it's just it's just the facts. <laughs> but you guys share lots of facilities. I mean even recreation facilities you share with the city of Spruce yes, Grove. Yes we share right? a lot of things together. I think uh, we know as Ms. Pally that we can't do everything on ourselves. We need our com community partners, you know, that's the community groups and also municipal partners, both Parkland County and City of Spruce Grove contribute lots of money towards our, our programs and our rec facilities and we do the same thing. Um, I think residents do not care where the borders are anymore, they just want the services and then working together the three of us can provide all the services. There's lots of great services, especially outdoor services, uh, when we talk about parkland and uh, pathways for people to enjoy the, I guess, nature and the beauty of the prairie landscape. Yes. Uh, in, alone in town of Stony Plain, we have over 27 kilometers of trails and paths within the community. Lots of outdoor uh, parks and rinks. Um, last year we opened a uh, Range Road 23 day use park, which is in Parkland County. But uh, Stony Plain and Spruce Grove both contributed money to that to make sure that our residents have access to it. There's a new outdoor rink here, isn't there? Yes, the West Terror Outdoor Rink. Uh, beautiful addition to our community if you uh, definitely have a chance to get out there. Um, it's top notch. Why is it so top notch? Uh, there's a change room, there's little shelters there, new ice, it's a multi-use facility so again in the summertime we'll put basketball nets out there, play floor hockey, basketball, just something for uh, residents to do without actually having to pay anymore. Within the capital region we always focus on Edmonton but there is a nice proximity to Edmonton with Stony Plain, I mean it's only a 15 minute drive. 
Does that help uh, people make this a destination? It does. We have a lot of tourism in our community. Uh, a quaint downtown has a lot of sh uh, shops and stores that we can uh, look at, as well as we have a lot of unique uh, shops and buildings that people don't realize that we have. We have um, international uh, furniture builders, um, we have soap makers, uh, perfume, perfume makers that are in the community that people don't know about that are shipped worldwide. And the reason I brought you on was because you're mayor, you've been term for what, four years now? Yep, I've been mayor for four years now. But you've been in this community for a long for 36 time. 36 years. So yes. you know every single corner of this community. I, I'm sure you've climbed, uh, climbed on some of the trees in the local parks, yep. right? Every tree and every building downtown, um, I've climbed up. <laughs> building too. <laughs> Buildings too. I think uh, in a small town as a kid, we did a lot of fun, but we didn't uh, you know, wreck anything or destroy anything. It was just a little bit of mischief and just having a good time. And in a place like this, we're in the Pioneer Museum, we get to check out the history of Stony Plain, which is reaching far, far back. I, I mean, we're, we're in a place where there's lots of old vehicles, tractors. Uh, it's a big farming community. Does that speak to the people? Yes, it definitely speaks to the people. Uh, that's where our roots are, is the agriculture base that, uh, from the surrounding communities that came and supported uh, the town of Stony Plain through commerce. We have uh, very big dealerships in, in, uh, in, in the town of Stony Plain. But I think our biggest employer is the Pakistan School Division. Oh, why is that? Why do you think that? Well, because they have all the teachers, all the janitor <laughs> staff, and we have to educate our future generations. That's very important. And, and like we talked about earlier, the family atmosphere here is very, very big, right? Uh, your grandfather started a restaurant, right, back in the 80s? Oh, 70s, 1970. My grandfather, Bing Choi, started uh, Bing's Restaurant, uh, which now I'm the third owner, generation owner of it. Uh, Definitely heavily involved in the community, do a lot of volunteer work as well. And one of the reasons I ran for council was because of the community supported my grandfather and our families as uh, we uh, learned to settle roots in Stony Plain. So you're just looking to give back to the community essentially. Yes. And you look to give back with the help of probably the groups like the Lions and Kinsmen Clubs. Definitely. Uh, none of this can be achieved without their support. And finally, I'm going to put you on the spot. Stony Plain is, you know, the word plain can be plain. What if we change the name a little bit? I don't know what the legal ramifications are, but what if we change the name to Stony Tremendous? Do you think that would fly? I think it might fly, but I think the city speech group might have, have problems with that. You know, <laughs> they're the city of choice and Franklin County is where opportunities wait, but it's always better in Stony Plain. Per <laughs> you couldn't have said it better. I, I don't think, maybe we'll have to chat with Spruce Grove on a future episode of Where You Live. That might be a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, uh, Mayor Choi. We really appreciate it. Uh, as you can tell, Stony Plain is a tremendous place to live and we'll feature another town on where you live in just a few moments. Yeah.